Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about the homolytic cleavage radical mechanism step. Uh, I want to remind you from the earlier video when I introduced the, the general principles of radical mechanisms. Uh, when well, we're talking about homolytic, we're talking about one electron things are going on. Um, and what that looks like, um, let's use the letter X to represent some sort of generic element and, and also the most, you know, also the most common types of things that undergo homolytic cleavage are uh, the halogens. So again, X is appropriate. Get my radical arrow here. So in homolytic cleavage, what is happening is that one electron, or the, the, the sigma bond is breaking. And one electron goes with each atom. Now what we get are two radicals. So if we count up from the reactants to the products in this mechanism step, we have no radicals on the left-hand side of the reaction. And we form two radicals on the right hand side. And so this is a reason why homolytic cleavage is often or is one of the most common steps to be found in initiation because it you go from no radicals to having two radicals. Um, here's a specific example featuring uh, let's say bromine. Make that bromine bromine bond just a little bit longer. Homolytic cleavage of bromine then gives us oh, oh. the equals are extraneous, but they'll, they'll, they'll go away here. Two bromine radicals. And if you see the way I'm drawing my radical arrows, uh, I have a tendency, because this is how I learned how to do it, to draw my uh, answer or to draw my arrows so that the uh, two arrows are one of them's going in one way and one of them's going the other way from the arrow but it's perfectly legit there's nothing wrong with drawing these arrows the opposite way or so that one is going in one way, they're both on the same side of the bond, in other words. This is a perfectly fine uh, representation. In the next video, I'm going to talk about the coupling mechanism step, which is like the homolytic cleavage step in reverse. Thanks for watching.